All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, presenting the challenger, Monster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, not fight. You ready? You ready? This one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this guy. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 
big ball from Quest Land. Now he gets back to range. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Good jab. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That over won't work. and over. You come up, you go down. Enough to take that win. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Back mount now. Three minutes now, round one. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to his feet. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Straight right hand now, just misses. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Back and forth we go. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Roundhouse attempt just misses. Let's go, let's get this. Man, how good is his right hook down? Oh, a little single collar tie there. Effective punch there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, a beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running the clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. Nice great punch. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very easy. That's what we saw. Just unable to quite find that range. 
they separate. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. You see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch the NFL fall. Watch guys now right behind the jab. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball becomes quite the size. This guy today is looking at both the spits in his zone. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lou. All right, close guard now. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. All right, side control now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And he landed the right hand there. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. How good is that right hand? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, what a punch. Hit Hard you. shots landing on both sides here. Massive head kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to this counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Beautiful punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Punch over the top. Just missing on the high kick there. 20 seconds left. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Lunges forward with a left there. Well placed kick there by Lee. Two rounds in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had. His kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of his fight. He's used those kicks 
to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining Great. rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when very skilled, very easy match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night as that landed. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Yeah, he picked it all up. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He went high on that one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And back to his feet. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. I mean, that right hand is square. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice knee to the bottom. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh! Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Superman punch now. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Big kick land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Right hand upstairs. Beautiful body. Unable to land with that punch. Just missed with the straight left hand. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. What a punch. Oh, nice. Kick land. Trying to establish that jab once again. Take down. Oh wow, that happened quickly as the 
fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Final seconds of round three. And he caught the kick. He's throwing every part of it. Right up over the top. This one's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. I need you to show something. You have to protect yourself. Let's get this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round of fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Both fighters throwing heat now. Pretty good right hand. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Superman punch lands. Lee going for the head kick. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more, though. No, and he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, so the taller fighter lands at me, and Daniel Cunier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Huge block! Digging kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Trying to find a home for that right hand. that puts the corner on skates. Oh, that's a nice strike. An uppercut in! Good work getting in the way of that knee. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really, man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. 
Just misses there with the left. Under a minute now to go. Nice punch by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lands the right hand. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. That's a miss. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Over and over, he landed some big body kicks. Oh, left hook. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that one. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. But they both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Right, you gotta keep your hands up for me now. Nice kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He got him. Having the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. of that nice body kick. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice loop and punch. comes to separation now. Oh! Oh! That's the How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So his guard here is very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Working hard, posting, and getting back up. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Nice punch land. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, 
Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. There's no oh, kill. Huge elbow. Going tonight, DC connected with it there. She's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And they sit. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. They continue to exchange. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by... So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes.